But first tonight, we are working new details on the case of a Providence homicide. After a man is stabbed and killed, his family is now working to make the neighborhood safer on his behalf. It's our top local story tonight. Iowa News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now with the details. Well, 29-year-old George Holland was killed in Providence after an argument last year. And right now, family, friends, and community members say they're trying to get together to take these small steps forward to better their community. Nearly one year ago on a rainy October day, 29-year-old George Holland was stabbed to death with a kitchen knife, police say, at his apartment on Ridgeway Ave. Charged with the murder, 39-year-old Shauna Rufo, the mother of his child. Police say the two had a violent relationship. Now on this sunny Saturday in South Providence, family, friends, and community members are gathering to keep Holland's memory alive and stop the violence. It's, it's just a sad, tragic event that just shouldn't have happened, you know, and like my family was still grieving, you know, but we're just trying to make the best of it, you know, and trying to bring something positive out of all of it. And throughout the day, hundreds of people filed through the Davy Lopes Recreation Center to raise money for two scholarships for college-bound high school seniors in Holland's memory. Holland's mother says while she's still grieving the death of her son, they're trying to make positive out of their loss. My son was my world. And he did a lot for his family. He did a lot for people. He was a nice person. Holland leaves behind eight children and the message his mother wants to spread, think before you act. Don't be so quick to become violent because it hurts. It hurts the parents, it hurts the children, and it hurts their community. And Rufo is now at the ACI awaiting her murder trial. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sodnik, Eyewitness News.